this is NDL News Channel 5. In tonight's edition, we have several stories for you. First, we'll hear from about King Duncan's victory over the combined forces of the rebellious Thane Cawdor, <coughs> McDonald, and his Norwegian supporters. Next, we'll hear about the execution of McDonald, former, former Thane of Cawdor, and we'll see who has been named as his successor. Also today, <coughs> Duncan names his eldest son, Prince of Cumberland, heir to the throne of Scotland. <coughs> Later tonight, we'll hear from Ed McRankin in a timeout commentary about the loyalty, loyalty to the throne. But and now we need to take a commercial break. Yet there's a spot. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. One, two. What you need's a fresh start. Just apply it in your laundry anytime there's a spot. Go ahead, <laughs> put it in. All right. Cool. Now we'll just wait a minute here. Ah, it's done. And it works! <laughs> That's just great. Fresh start, remember, anytime there's a spot. Hello, NDL News is back, and uh, here's Ed Rankin with tonight's feature story. Thanks, John. <coughs> In tonight's top story, the Saint of Cawdor and his Norwegian allies uh, were defeated in a coup attempt that lasted three days. A participant in the battle explained that until today, the progress of King Duncan's forces was unclear. The traitor, McDonwald, <coughs> had been supplied with many lightly armed Irish kerns as well as several divisions of more heavily armed uh, Scottish gallow glasses. <coughs> and, said the participant, fortune did seem to be on the side of McDonwall. Despite this, General Macbeth personally led a victorious assault on the rebel forces, slaying their leader. Uh, the King of Norway later received new supplies and led several fresh assaults against the loyal forces, but Macbeth and Banquo held them off, and here's John with our second story tonight. Thank you, Ed. After the victory over the Norwegians and traitor McDonald, King Duncan sends McDonald Thane of Cawdor to death. At his, at his execution, the former Thane of Cawdor confessed his <coughs> treason and implored the king's pardon. An anonymous bystander was heard to say, and I quote, Nothing in the, his life became him like believing it. I think we have a clip on this. Uh, let's have a look at it. Long live the king! Well, they sure left him hanging. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's going to succeed uh, McDonald while the staying in Ricardo? Well, that was a question in the minds of many people today, before King Duncan named our most loyal and brave general, Macbeth, Thane of Cawdor. Macbeth will, of course, retain his already achieved status of Thane of Glamis. Yes, well, <coughs> if it wasn't for the recent naming <coughs> of Malcolm uh, to Prince of Cumberland, heir to the Scottish throne, many think Macbeth would be a likely candidate for King of Scotland. <coughs> Next we go to Ed McRankin for our timeout commentary. Remember that timeout commentaries do not necessarily depict the views of NDL News. Good evening. This is Ed McRankin with this evening's Time Out Commentary. Tonight, I'm going to talk about loyalty to the throne. Although I do not suspect Macbeth of being at all disloyal, I wonder if maybe more, uh, more time should be taken when appointing a new thane. King Duncan once described Macdonwald as, quote, a gentleman on whom I built an absolute trust. We know that he turned out to be a most abhorrent traitor. Macbeth, the new thane, 
seems to have been chosen uh, with the same uh, hastiness as McDonwald was. We can only hope that he turns out to be as loyal as he seems. Thank you, and that's my timeout commentary. Here's John O'Morgan with Scotland Weather. John? Thank you, Ed. Today's uh, weather in Scotland is uh, basically probably fair down here with the warm front and um, partly foul up here with the cold front from the north. Yeah. And um, basically we have sunny skies in northern Scotland. Pretty fair skies. And uh, pretty foul weather down here near Fife. And um, so basically, Scotland today we're having foul and fair weather. Thank you. That wraps it up for NDL Evening News at 10 o'clock.